Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer one of the Java interview questions. That is, what is the difference between array list and linked list in Java? Let me answer this question followed by practical demonstration. So first of all, the array list and linked list have the same parent, that is list interface, okay? Array list and linked list are the children of the same parent that is list interface in collections framework. So let me explain about this array list and a linked list now. First, I'll explain the similarities before I go for the differences, right? I'll explain the similarities because of the similarities only in the interviews, they're asking us for the differences between both of them. So first we have to know the similarities between the array list and linked list. Then you can identify the differences. Okay. How they are different. You can understand later. So coming to the array list is one of the predefined, one of the predefined classes under collection framework, okay, which belong to the collections framework. One of the predefined classes, array list is one of the predefined classes, which belong to, which belong to collections framework. Then what about linked list? Linked list is also same guys. Okay. Linked list is also is also one of the predefined classes which belong to collections collections framework collections framework okay here also array list belong to uh, is one of the predefined class under the collections framework and also linked list also belong to the it is also a predefined class which belong to the collections framework okay same same aid. and array list parent of parent of array list is list interface, right? Parent of array list is list interface. Whereas parent of parent of linked list, linked list is, is also list interface only. So what is the, okay, then fine. Okay. So here adding elements, Comma, removing elements is possible. Okay. Here also adding elements. Linked list also you can add elements. Removing removing elements is possible. Removing elements is possible. Okay. You can add and remove the elements. Here in array list, you can access the elements. Access the elements using its index, index value of the element, okay, index position of the element. Here also, in linked list also, same thing guys, we can access the elements, access the elements using its index position. So, everything is similar, right? Whatever I am saying here is completely similar. Array list belong to the collections framework. Here, linked list also belong to the collections framework. The parent of the array list is list interface. The parent of the linked list is also list interface. In array list, we can add the elements, remove the elements. In linked list also, we can add the elements and remove the elements. In array list, we can access the elements using the index position. Whereas in linked list, also we can access the elements using its index position. Then what is the difference? You see, working wise, both will work in the same fashion, but we have to use array list in one situation. We have to use linked list in another situation. What is that? Let me tell you. Okay. So coming to the array list, coming to the array list, how it will work? Let me tell you internally, the internal architecture you have to know guys. Okay. Coming to the array list, you have to know the internal architecture. Okay. How it works internally. Array list internally uses array list is nothing but dynamic array guys. Okay. Resizable dynamic array. You can also call it as a resizable array. Resizable array. Okay. Whereas linked list is implemented. Array list is implemented as a dynamic array. Okay. Whereas linked list is implemented as a double, double, double linked list. Linked list. Okay. So technically they, we call this as uh, you know, array list 
will uh, will have the internal implementation of the dynamic array whereas linked list has an internal implementation as a double okay this is how they work double linked list way it will work okay so this may not be understood by you if i say dynamic array and double linked list you will not understand but how it works let me tell you for example in array list when you add the elements right for example you add the elements to the array list for example you uh, add the index 0 at the index 0 you add it at the index 0 you added one element 9 and at the index 1 you added another element let's say 5 at the index 2 you added another element that is that is uh, at the index 2 you added another element let's say 7 at the index uh, 3 you added another element let's say some 15 some different elements you added okay index 0 9 element you added index 1 5 element you added index 2 of uh, 2 of the array list you added a 7 index 3 of the array list you added 15 now if you want to add a new element okay if you want to add a new element in between the array list let's say at the index 2 you want to add a okay you want to insert an element okay you want to insert an element you want to ins this is an existing array list okay containing the list of elements but you wanted to add let's say element at index 1 let's say. already index 1 5 is there but you want to insert a new element at the index 1 so what will happen guys if you insert an element at index 1 a new element at index 1 let's say you inserted something like you know uh, some 4 you inserted let's say so what happens here 5 will go to index 2 7 will go to index 3 and 15 will go to index 4. This is what happens. You see, for a small change, for inserting some element in between, remaining all elements are getting, their places are getting changed to other indexes. Next index. What if you remove one index, uh, sorry, remove one element from between, in middle of the element, in, in middle of these elements, at a particular index, you want to delete an element, okay? Remove the element. You remove the element at the index 1. So what happens? Index 5 should be moved to the index 1. Index 5 should be moved to the, uh, sorry, element one should, uh, element 5 should move to the index 1. Element 7 should move to the index 2. Okay. They have to rearrange themselves. Okay. Whereas in element 15 should move to index 3. This kind of shuffling will happen, guys. Okay. Whenever you add an element or remove the element from between, in middle of the elements, if you do that, what happens here? Or from the start of the element, if you do that, what happens in this array list? The remaining elements have to change their positions, right? Either they have to increase, uh, they have to go to the next index or they have to go to the previous index. If you are adding, it will the remaining elements will go to the next index. If you are deleting, okay, uh, the elements, uh, the, uh, the deleted position need to be covered by the remaining elements. So the index will move to the previous position, right? Fine. But coming to the, coming to the linked list, it will be something different, guys. For example, you added one element at the index zero. Let's say the uh, 9 you added at the index 0. Let's assume that 9 you added at the index 0. Okay. You added 9. One minute. You added 9 at the index 0. Okay. At the index 0, you added 9. And second, at the index 1, you added another element. Let's say you added 5 here. You added 5 at the index 1. And you added you added 7 at the index 2. You added 7 at the index 2. You added 7 at the index 2. Okay. And you added 15. Added 15 at the index 3, let's say. You added 15 at the index 3. Now, this is at the index 0. This is index 1, index 2, index 3. Now, if you want to insert or remove some element from between. Let's assume, let's insert for now. Okay. If you want to insert some element in at the index one or something, what will happen here is, so here, this first element will have a link to the next element. Okay. Here, n will be there. Next element uh, details will be there. As a chain, they will be connected. All these elements will be connected to their, okay, corresponding elements as a chain. This element has a link to the previous element will be there. Okay. From here again, next element will be there. Next element connection will be there. From here, previous element connection will be there. Okay. From here, previous uh, element uh, 
here previous element connection will be there from this element to this element and this one has next element connection to this one and previous element will be connected to here like this as a chain double side chain so double linked list that's why we call this as double linked list okay here the first element is connected to second element and second element is connected to third element third element is connected to fourth element and fourth element is connected to third element third to second second to first okay if you want to add any element in between what happens for example if you want to add an element here so the element will be added something like this guys okay so let's say you want to add some element let's say you want to add four here you want to add four here let's assume okay then what happens now you don't have to shuffle all the stuff you don't have to shuffle the indexes of this particular thing okay you don't have to shuffle the indexes of these elements okay what will happen here is next will point to this one okay instead of point this connection will be lost and next will be pointing to this one this will point to this one okay here next will point to this one and okay next is pointing to this one and here previous is pointing to this one this old connection will be lost now this elements previous will be connected to this one and this elements previous will be connected to this one so like that it can be inserted anywhere in between which one is easy to insert guys to insert or remove some elements in between which one is better this one is better or this one is better obviously linked list is better if your requirement is to insert some elements in the beginning uh, from the, uh, in the start or in the middle of this particular uh, list of elements right then you have to go with the linked list which will be very faster okay adding or removing the elements in between or in the starting of the elements is faster in case of linked list whereas it's slower in case of array list why because if you add some insert some element in the starting or in the middle of this particular array list right then other elements need to shuffle to the other indexes here links are not there here we can break the links and you know we can connect them so that element can be inserted easily here but here link is linking is uh, i mean inserting and you know inserting and uh, removing the elements in between or from the starting of the array list is slower guys okay inserting or removing the elements from the starting or in the mid middle of the array list is slower here so which one you have to choose when in in terms of inserting and uh, removing the elements which one is better linked list is faster whereas array list is also possible but slower guys okay it's slower it's faster okay then another use case will come where accessing of the elements which one is faster in accessing this array list is faster in case of accessing for accessing for inserting and removing for inserting and removing elements in the beginning or at the you know starting of the array list this one is slower and this linked list is faster because of this chains and all okay a kind of linked list and all okay whereas accessing for if you talk about accessing if you talk about accessing if you talk about accessing which one is faster array list is faster because the position is clearly there guys okay so directly it will directly it will jump to the position for example if you want to access this element five you have to give the index using the index one you can access it very fast because because you know the position is fixed the position is fixed hence using the position you can access it fast okay accessing is very fast guys so directly go to the element jump to the index and then get the element but here to access it we have to start from the first element if you want to access this four right four or five let's say you have to start from here if you want to for example this is not there let's assume okay nine is there five is there they are connected with chains if you want to access five you cannot directly jump to the this position directly you cannot directly jump to this position you have to start from the this side or this side you have to start from the static element you will start and from here the next node you will go here okay you will not directly jump if you want seven you have to start from here from here you have to go to five nine to five and from five to seven you have to go and access seven if you want to access 15 from nine you have to go to five five you have to go to seven from seven you have to go to 15 or sometimes you'll go here and from here you can go to the previous element previous element, and whatever the way it is faster right you'll go in that direction but ultimately it's kind of slow accessing will be slow guys here accessing in linked list will be slower because you cannot directly jump to the element with the help of the position of that particular element rather you have to go from the starting element or ending element of the chain and uh, after one by one you have to go okay and find the element but here directly will go to that particular position of the element and get the element okay so that's why accessing is faster in case of array list and accessing is slower in case of linked list when compared to array list accessing is slower in linked list but inserting and removing the elements inserting and removing the array list is slower when compared to the linked list in linked list 
inserting and removing the elements is faster okay in linked list inserting and adding and removing the elements is faster whereas accessing the elements is faster in array list so this is what is the difference guys okay even though they work in the same fashion okay accessing elements is uh, accessing elements is faster in uh, faster in array list when compared to the linked list whereas adding or removing elements in between or start in linked list is faster when compared to the array list okay array list internally uses dy dynamic array because of which accessing elements is faster linked list internally uses double linked list like this kind of chain kind of structure okay because of which inserting or adding the elements in between or start in linked list is faster okay so based on your most of the cases we use array list in real time guys most of the cases we use uh, array list in real time all the cases will use array list but if you are frequently performing okay in your program if you are frequently performing adding and removing operations in that case only we generally go to linked list otherwise we just stick to the array list only okay which is faster in accessing the elements whereas linked list is slower in accessing the elements but if your frequent operation is based on adding and removing the elements sir uh, then you have to go for the linked list okay fine so let me give a practical demonstration of this uh, array list and linked list practically they look same way there is no difference but uh, internally the implementation is different so in case of inserting and uh, removing elements uh, from the linked list for faster adding and removing you have to go for the linked list where for uh, you know for uh, faster accessing you go for the array list that's the only thing that you have to decide okay most of the cases we still use array list but uh, linked list will be sparingly used when frequent operation is based on adding and removing okay elements i'll just raise demo 6 here with main method i'll create and here i'll write down array list array list a list is equal to new array list control shift o and write down integer and here add the elements to the array list a list dot add of a list dot add of 9 and a list dot add of 5 and a list dot add of 7 and a list dot add of let's say 15 okay like this you can add system dot out for accessing how to access for accessing how to access system dot out dot print here a list dot get of 0 means index 0 element at the index 0 will be access get of 1 then system dot out dot print here system dot out dot print here a list dot get of a list dot get of 2 then system dot out dot print here system dot out dot print here a list dot get of 3 like this you can access and if you want to remove them you can remove like this a list dot remove of index you just give some index let's say 2 or something it will be removed and uh, after removing if i print out in array list right if i print out the array list i'll just make it list there is there is a reason why i'm making that system dot out dot print here system dot out dot print here list let's copy this paste it here so using the add method we are adding and uh, using the get method we are accessing and using the remove method we are removing okay run this code see after removing only 9515 are there and here 95715 okay for accessing array list is better for uh, adding and removing which one is better if more frequent operations are adding and removing go for the linked list okay instead of this array list you simply replace that with the linked list okay copy this the implementation will be same guys Impl uh, internal implementation is different but programming wise it looks same okay linked list here also linked list okay control shift o now run the code you will see the same thing output will be same not see any programmatic programmatically you will not see any difference only difference you will get is uh, you know uh, which one to be used in which situations if uh, your purpose is to access them faster then go for the array list if you want to if your purpose in the program is to add or remove more frequently add or remove then go for the linked list that's the only thing is okay so with uh, theoretical explanation and practical demonstration i have answered this question for you that is what is the difference between array list and linked list in java so that's all for this session thank you bye bye